So today we're going to learn how to type in Pinyin on iOS. The first thing you have to do is add your keyboard. So go into settings, scroll down and then click on general. Under general, you will see that you have keyboard as a selection. Click on keyboards and then add new keyboard. You can just scroll down and find Chinese simplified. I've already used the keyboard, so mine's already showing up at the top. You may be wondering why we chose the simplified character keyboard rather than traditional, and that's because that's most commonly used in mainland China, and it's also easier to learn because it's got fewer strokes, while the traditional keyboard is typically used in Taiwan. Just click that, select the first option, and now you've got your keyboard all ready to go. So let's just do some typing practice. In order to select the language, in the bottom left, you just click on the globe and select the Chinese keyboard. Let's try typing ni hao with no spaces. You may notice that the phone automatically added a space in between ni and hao. This is normal, and you don't have to add the space between syllables yourself. You'll see the character list appear, and at this point, it'll be helpful for you to be able to recognize basic characters. The nice thing about the character list is it does show characters in order of how frequently they are used. So in order to select those characters, you can just press on that first character. That is the right selection. And now you have Ni Hao. So let's do another one. Let's do Han Yu. And now you see you've got the right character as well for that. Some words in Mandarin require us to use the U with an umlaut. For example, Niu Shi, which means miss. If we type in NU and then SHI, you actually get the wrong set of characters. But if you go back and you type in NV SHI, you'll see now you've got the right characters for miss. Now there are some letters for which this rule does not apply and those are J, Q, X, and Y. And that's because those letters will never be followed by a U umlaut. Now that you've got your keyboard set up, you know your typing tricks, you're ready to go. So go off and practice your typing in Pinyin for iOS. Thanks for watching. Do you like our video? Did you learn anything fun? Be sure to hit like and subscribe to our channel to get the latest video updates. And be sure to leave your comments below. If you feel like you've learned something from this video, one of the best ways to practice is to go into the Mango course to form new sentences and new thoughts. Click the link on your screen to try it out.